hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so friends as you know even semester exams are just near so there is a lot of work pending yet there is a lot of project to work still i managed to make this video especially for the backlog students i know the pan who just gets a backlog in the subjects so i find it as my responsibility to solve these type of problems over here so my dear friends in this video i am going to unlock the secrets to successfully passing uh, your maths exam especially this particular subject 18 mat 1 1 uh, this is the subject code if you are a student looking for how to pass uh, m1 examination so my dear friends this video is is for you you have come to the right place so remain with uh, remain with me till the end so that your each and every doubt uh, which i will try to solve over here so st uh, stay tuned don't miss any second of this video if you just skip then you will not get the clear picture about the content which uh, you have to atom in the final examination of vtu especially so my dear friends uh, in this video we will discuss about this particular subject m1 that is calculus and linear algebra so i have taken all the modules over here and which module is easy which you have to attempt to first all things i will discuss over here so uh, my dear uh, friends so first attempt the module fifth it is all about the matrices you have to play with the matrices it is just uh, a pu based concept so in this module i have uh, taken all the topics over here which you should refer then only you can score 20 marks and it is the passing module of this subject uh, keep this point in mind so first topic is uh, gauss seidel method they will ask you uh, some questions some equations they will give you you have to solve that question by gauss seidel method so uh, they will tell you about carry out three iterations only three iterations uh, they are asking in the final examination my dear friends so next topic is the rank of the matrix it is also an easy topic then gauss elimination then gauss jordan method then Rayleigh's power method then eigenvalues and eigenvectors these topics from this module you have to cover you have to remember this point uh, this uh, module is just important in this particular subject this is a passing module so just uh, go through these type of uh, topics over there then you can get the clear picture over this module over there then my dear friends uh, just go through module one polar curves and evaluates in this particular module one question is always asked in the vtu examination that question is that is tan phi is equal to r of d theta by dr you have to prove this particular notation this carries six marks but sometimes they will ask you prove that with the usual notation one by p square is equal to one by r square plus one by r is power four dr by d theta whole square so there are these two possibilities you should refer these two questions just remember them just try to uh, solve these uh, what we call as two notations over here so then only you can score six marks in this first module first question then the another topic will come up that is the angle between radius vector and tangent to the polar curve some questions will be on this uh, particular notation based they will ask you uh, find the angle between radius vector and tangent to the polar curve this is the second topic in this module and third topic show that the pair of curves intersect each other orthogonally orthogonally so you have to focus on these type of topics uh, in this particular module you can also attempt uh, this module as a full you can carry 20 marks in this particular module so uh, the other uh, part the other topic is pedal equation so they will ask you like suppose r is power n is equal to a raised power n sine of n theta you have to use the pedal equation there this is also a simple topic my dear friends don't worry about this you just go through the az notes you will uh, they will guide you step by step over there and in the simple manner they will uh, guide you so then another topic is the radius of curvature <clears throat> so my dear friends in this module also you can carry 20 marks in this particular module uh, so two modules uh, these two modules are just in your pocket these i mean to say that uh, the 40 marks are just in your pocket so then uh, we can go through the other typical modules uh, how many questions you should uh, refer how should uh, how many questions you should attempt to work there so module two my dear friends there are especially uh, five topics but i will tell you which is the definite question uh, this question is definite question it is all uh, always asked in the v2 examination that is if u is equal to f of x minus y y minus z comma z minus x show that dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y plus dou u by dou z is equal to zero this carries seven marks over there so just remember this question and just try practice uh, then only you can get this particular uh, what we call as the content 
then on the mclaren series there is one question which is probably which may be uh, asked uh, in this particular year so uh, under root of 1 plus sine 2x is equal to 1 plus x minus x square by 2 minus x uh, raised power 3 divided by 6 plus x raised power 4 divided by 24 plus so so on this carries 6 marks over there you have to expand this series it is a very simple topic in this particular module you just go through these uh, two topics if you want to score also in this module if you are just good in differentiation so go through the another topic that is partial differentiation and another topic is jacobians it is also a matrix based uh, what we call as topic over here then the maxima and minima having two independent variables these are the topics i have just written over here uh, you don't need if you are good in the differentiation if you are good in the matrices then go do uh, go through these three topics otherwise if you are not good in the differentiation then just remember these type uh, two types of questions this will be definite but uh, this may not be definite over there they may uh, tell some other question like uh, taylor's theorem or uh, expand the taylor series like that so but most probably this will be asked in the v2 examination so module 2 is over my dear friends then module 3 comes which is the most what we call is important uh, topic uh, in this particular subject but it is a typical one so uh, you have to uh, what what we call is you have to attempt only one question if you are looking for the passing uh, it is integral calculus so prove that beta of m comma n is equal to gamma of n m into gamma of n divided by gamma of m into gamma of n this is the beta gamma relationship this although uh, already a definite question in this particular module so go through this part this is also an important question then uh, the questions will be like that uh, find area bounded between circle and uh, circle which the equation of the circle as you already know in the pu that is x square plus y square is equal to a square and line is x plus y is equal to a like that questions they will uh, ask in the examination and uh, also find area bounded between uh, suppose parabola is there these two types of questions are there just go through if you are not good in don't worry uh, only uh, focus on this particular question this will be definite in the examination then the module 4 comes <clears throat> Module 4, uh, there will be questions like solu dy by dx plus 2x plus 2y minus 1 three, uh, divided by 3x plus 4y minus 2 is equal to 0. I have taken it as an example. So in these type of questions, you have to calculate first dou m by dou y. Uh, then you have to calculate dou n by dou x. I mean that you have to differentiate m with respect to y and n with respect to x. And you have to equate them. If they are equal, then go through. Uh, the partial differentiation then you will get the solution it is also a simple question my dear friends you will get six marks easily in this uh, particular module then uh, if you are uh, go through if you go through the another uh, topic in this particular module that is the orthogonal trajectory and newton's law of cooling there will be definite question from this uh, that is lr circuits may be there temperature based questions will be there so go through and you will get uh, seven marks also over here so it is very easy to pass M1 as far as the VTU examination is concerned. If you practice uh, before exam, two days before exam, only you have to practice my dear friends, then only it will become easy for you. Otherwise, it is not too much easy as I am telling to you, my dear friends. So how many marks if I count it over here? So that is 7 plus 6, that is 13 marks. 13, 13 plus 7 that is 20 20 plus 7 27 plus 6 that is 33 33 plus 20 that is 53 53 plus 20 that is uh, 73 73 plus 6 marks that is 79 marks isn't it amazing my dear friends i have just clear uh, i have just tell you over uh, some topics over here in this subject or still you are getting 73 marks it is not a joke as far as video examination is concerned over here so i hope my dear friends this is beneficial video for you and your doubts uh, have been cleared uh, which i have solved over here so if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section i will try to answer them and uh, whatever will be the next video just uh, comment down and i will think about that so 